The state attorney general wants to oust the president of an established New Jersey university, alleging fiscal mismanagement. State allegations tonight of fiscal mismanagement and improprieties at a North Jersey university. Stevens Institute of Technology in Hoboken has come under fire for what the state attorney general contends in a 16-count civil suit is excessive spending and an overcompensated president. The suit is also seeking the ouster of the president and the school's trustee board chair. But as Desiree Taylor reports, the private nonprofit university is fighting back with its own legal challenge. Attorney General Ann Milgram laid out a laundry list of complaints against Stevens Institute of Technology, a private 140-year-old university in Hoboken that specializes in engineering, research, and technology. There was money that was specifically endowed for one purpose that was given for one purpose, and they were misappropriating it and using it for things that they were not permitted to do. Second, we believe that the president has received excessive compensation. Um, part of that is the $1.8 million loan that went to him. $928,000 of that loan was forgiven. Um, which again, the loan itself was not permitted by, by the charter and by the rules of Stevens, but again, that's additional compensation that's gone to the university president. Last year, Milgram says university president Harold Ravachet earned over a million dollars. She called this excessive compared to the $636,000 salary MIT's president makes. These and other concerns were discovered during a three-year investigation. Milgram quoted former trustees who claimed they were left in the dark about key financial information, among them audits that warned of deficiencies and reports that misstated the school's assets. 2007, the net assets of the university were overstated by six million. From 2004 to 2007, there was a failure to file subsidiaries' tax returns, um, and as a result of an audit, Stevens had to pay the IRS $750,000 in penalties and unpaid taxes and fines. Milgram says she reached out to the board to seek a settlement. No one from the school would comment on camera, but in a press release, the university says it rejected a list of Milgram's demands and questioned if she had the legal authority to intervene. University attorneys said the trustees were universally appalled by the non-negotiable demands that threatened of public disclosure if they did not comply within days, and the government trying to impose its business views over those who serve on many other boards. And it adds that it is the board's view that relenting to these demands would cause irreparable financial and reputational harm to the 140-year institution. The university claims it has already addressed many of the attorney general's concerns, and it has retained a former state Supreme Court justice as a fact finder to ensure these efforts continue. Meantime, Ann Milgram is calling for a number of reforms and the removal of the school's president and the chairman of the board of trustees. Desiree Taylor, 